I'm Rowan and Javier Munoz. Here we are. This is it for all the cookies. Championship game, right? This is it right here. This is one game to crown the championship for Nationals 2008. And also for the crown of the Indianapolis. Yes, exactly. This, two for one. The two for one. This is the Subway Series of Power Soccer. And here it is, the Mets and the Yankees. No, excuse me. Yeah. It's the Circle City Rollers against a sudden impact. Yellow against orange. This is exciting. This, this is, is really going to be a great game. This is going to be an amazing oh. match. Every team came out ready to play. Both teams have played excellent. Hopefully, they brought their best game for this game right That's here. That's it. And you're on xable.com. We're the official website of Power Wheelchair Soccer. Official website of Wheelchair Softball. Official wow. website of Quad Rugby. And I tell you what, we love it. We love being here, and this is great. And uh, well, I have I would, to thank my, my crew, by the way, up there, Gunnison uh, Carboni, so uh, Jesse job. Navarro. Uh, they were the ones working this uh, great, great event with us. Excellent job, I'm sure they're doing. I've seen some of the clips, and they do a great job. So if you're watching, check them out. There's more clips throughout xable.com. Have a look. All right. The team's getting ready to line up and be introduced. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's, uh, we have, uh, you have the, you're going to announce the defending national champions? Defending national champions. Okay, tell us about Circle City. Circle City Rollers, defending national champions. They are led by Mr. Michael Archer, 32, sitting right in front of me. He's going to lead their team today. 22, Miss Case Culver. But Mr. Case, yeah. Miss, Mr. Case Culver. He's this right-hand man right there. Bella Walters. She'll be playing in goal most of the time, but you'll see her out. And don't underestimate Grace Kettler and Allison Rose, the two feisty women that make this team really, really strong. I'll tell you what. So there's the Circle City Rollers. And on the other side, coached by Dominic Russo, the sudden impact also in Minneapolis. What a great team they have, too. Katie Dickey, number 87. Her brother, Jordan Dickey, number three. J.C. Russo, number 77. His sister, Natalie Russo, number five. And 19, Ginny Munson. And the goal backed up by Andrew Seaver. What a team. What a team. They have, right. And you can hear that roller team. That's the fans for the rollers. These are the, the these, both these teams have come through and, and to get here have, have been unbeaten. And here they are facing Amazing. each other. And what, I, what you don't know is they haven't played against each other, even though they're in the singer in about nine months. That's right. Or something uh, like that. Six, six, eight months, something like that. And they used to play together. So will that be a difference? They didn't face each other at regionals. Let's see what happens. They did not. That's true, right? And what we heard, what I heard from the impact is that they've changed their style a bit since the last time they played Circle City. So. Maybe that'll be a factor that comes into play. We'll find out right here. And we also want to thank uh, up there also helping out Laura Caboni, the uh, the uh, wife of Gunnison, who's come here and uh, she is a biologist working at SeaWorld, works wow. for all the mammals. And, awesome. I love uh, uh, she's a, I mean, a physician, I think is actually the thing, but I think she's a marine biologist, physician, and actually helps tend to the animals and uh, creatures that that uh, make up the underwater world. And uh, SeaWorld's a great place. And she's fantastic and allows Gunnison to be on the road some of the time. All right, Here race for the ball, and we are off. Here it comes. Are ready? This is it, Nationals Championship. And right away, Michael Archer facing, and uh, this is Natalie, Natalie Russo. Now, a lot of these people face each, uh, play together in the U.S. World Cup team, so. It's true. There's going to be a lot of familiar with both these teams right, in many now, ways. There's, there's Katie. Katie has been having a phenomenal series thing. She has really played so well for this team and has been such a great ball handler. She has. She's been the catalyst that has brought this team to this championship right here. She we'll stepped see, up our game. We'll see who comes out firing. Both teams look a little timid at this first minute, but we'll see whoever comes out firing. I think they'll have the big advantage. And uh, JC has been phenomenal as a back. He, he, you see him playing as a, the center, but he also, at every moment you watch, they get down in defense, he's right in the goal because he was the goalkeeper for the U.S. team. Yeah, defensively, he, there's no one better, in my opinion. He is, he is amazing right, defensively. He uh, actually only gave up two goals in all of the uh, 
uh, World Cup action. Two goals, and they were both amazing. to the French team. And, of course. Uh, that's uh, the. All right, here we go. He's a, he's a talented defender, but let's see if Michael Archer can put one in early. All right, and there's JC, and now Case is involved in this, and they're letting it go, and uh, let's see, it's going to be a corner kick here. Yeah, and they're going to set up quick. All right. Grace, Grace way on the end there. She has played much better than I've ever seen her in this tournament, and I have to tell you that uh, it's going to be an interesting battle here. See what's going to happen. Uh, Michael missed it. That's a big miss. And there it goes, oh, down there. Make it work. Oh, oh she could not, not get, to get to it. But at least it changes the whole perspective of the game. Oh, that was huge. Now they're down here from deep, deep in their territory. And uh, goalie kick. That was huge momentum swing. They had a chance to counter that goal, that corner kick by Circle City. Yeah. All right. We're moving back. Uh, they're making sure Katie. the 15 feet rule or five meter rule is in play. Yeah. No, she's ready to go with them. There they go. There Comes go. Through. Michael, I think, sort of went off of uh, Katie. But there goes JC. That's not how the goal sees it. And Michael Archer, That's arguably one of the best in the world. In the world. Definitely one of the best in the world. He's if, a catalyst. not the best. Look at Katie. Now, Katie did not try out for the U.S. team, and I want to tell you something. That, uh, I mean, they won, but look at this. Look at this. Taking this. Michael down right to the down. cleaners here. Whoa, out in front. Oh, oh J.C. just missed that. Again, Katie what. is going to be the catalyst. She's look at it. Here right it goes again. In. It's out in front. Oh. Bell had to block that. Here she goes. Oh, she missed it, but okay. What a great ball handling there. Michael had to stay with her all the way, and, and she was right out in front of the goal. She was there. She's looking to get it back across the JC and maybe cross it across the court, but just didn't get it quite there. So look for that throughout the game. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, look cool. at that. Natalie. Natalie closed the door on him. This is good. See who okay. clears it out. Okay, JC now. Against Case, let's see what happens here. This is going to be a great game, and this, these are all such good players out there. A lot of, a lot of contact. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh! Now they just couldn't get there in time. It was a great idea. It just was a little bit. Comes Michael. That was a beautiful cross court pass yeah. by JC. So far, Impact looks to be a tighter each team at the earliest. Well, that's what a lot of people have been saying. Look at the way that ball came back. Look at the rebounds on this ball. Michael Archer definitely has one of the stronger kicks in the entire game, so. Oh, and it goes, oh, I would have called it the other way myself. But, um, nice good uh, chance kicking in. Look at Michael, he's set up. He's looking, he's checking it out. Of course, it helps when you can turn your head all the way. Not all these players have that that's, ability. That's a very valid point. Definitely changes the, uh, and all the, uh, just about all the players on uh, on Sunday, Sunday Impact are, have muscular dystrophy, and, and we're at uh, MD camp until uh, just before Nationals. That interesting little uh, tidbit there. It's definitely, definitely an advantage that, that you have if you can turn around and see behind you and see all the angles. Yeah. It definitely leads to great advantage. But these kids, they're so smart. They know where their chairs are. They know how to maneuver themselves. They know, ah. they, they can see in blind spots that the normal person probably couldn't even see if they could turn around and look. Well, that was a, uh, oh, 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 what a shot. Jenny Munson gets that out of the way, and boy, they're happy. That was a close one. That could have been dangerous. That rebound came out, and there was anything that could happen there. And I, I want to just mention, we have uh, Andy Green. These are the refs of this game. Chris Mohal and the the international president of refs who's really organized all the refs for this tournament. And Bob Mitchell and Scott Podolowski, and those are our refs for this game. And uh, They're excellent referees. Excellent referees. Uh, it doesn't really seem like Impact has much of a strategy in bouncing the ball. No, no. They look, they look a little timid, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, I guess they, they know this is for all the marbles. Oh, I'm that was not, that was not a good kick. That's not a typical JC uh, movement there. 
go. That, that could be dangerous. They definitely don't want to be timid. You want to come out with your best game, fired, excited to play, this. attacking. When you're timid, the other, the other team has a lot of opportunities. Look at this. It's out in front. It's out in front. Jenny, Jenny's the wall. Jace, they're not wanting to give him anything. JC's there with Jenny. They're making a wall. And it's going to be a corner kick. I tell you, this is where the scoring happens. This, this is it right careful. here. He missed on the first one. But I guarantee you, he won't miss too many. So they don't want to give him a lot of corner kicks like this. No, and they, you know, they're, they're prepared for this. They have their shots in mind. All right, let's see what Case has got going. Case Calvert with the ball. They're, they're straightening out the goalies here a little bit. All right, this is an interesting uh, way that they set it up. It's not exactly a, the, the same thing I've seen before. There's Michael with a shot. Again, not a lot of power on that. And they get another chance. The yellow card for J.C. Russo for talking. Oh, J.C. got to shut his mouth now. That's the last thing he wanted to do is his... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you definitely don't want to anger the referee. Not, not in this. He's obviously intense. He doesn't agree with some, something the referee's saying. We don't know at this moment, but. Yeah. OK, there's the ball. It's, it's bouncing. It's bouncing. Oh, boy. Case tried to, uh... oh, look at that. <laughs> Michael with that shot, and he took out uh, Grace's head there. Yeah, he almost a... did. took out his own player. I don't think I've seen anyone hit a shot exactly like that, except there was a three-foot flying shot that came in that scored by uh, the Synergy. It was that three-foot level. Get it up there, huh? They, uh, they did. I think it's one of those double kicks that they've been working on. Tell you what. Again, this is an intense moment down here for, for Impact. Impact has solid defense. Yeah, but look at that. Tell. But they uh, they want to get it down. I don't want it to be down here all the time. They want no, it. they don't. Now we can see they're starting to employ some kind of strategy a little. Yeah, and they continue moving the ball down. They need to get into the flow of the game and start to, to implement their, their style on the game. Or else Circle City is definitely going to take advantage. Uh, hopefully um, JC's calmed down a little bit. Oh, that was not a good kick. Grace with a chance here. With a chance, but Katie came in to save the day. She made the mistake, left it open, but she Recovered came to close the rope. Again, a chance for Circle City. Yep. They, they're, they're a little nervous. I think I agree with you on that. They're just not playing as comfortably and calm as they were earlier. Look at that ball. It's out front. Nice. Oh, nice redirect by Natalie. Nice redirect. Look at this. Katie looking for a shot. Oh, could not get it. Oh. That is a difficult thing to do, what she just did. She tried to set herself up to get a nice spin kick shot, but yeah. all the way across the court, that's probably one of the most difficult things for any athlete to do. I'll tell you what. Wheelchair. Would have been great. She could have. It would have been, been fun if everybody to see what that's like. Michael with the ball. He's uh, planning on going to college. He wants to be an architect. Well, I wouldn't wants doubt to build him homes. For one, mo one moment. All right, they see. And there it goes. Back to sudden impact. No. Some great stories out here. There's, it's just like a small chess match where everything's yeah. intense. One person doesn't want to give a nudge, a nidge. No one wants to give an inch. Not Someone's going to have to become the aggressor for this game yeah, to really it. turn. I just, by the way, I'll tell you, I, I spent some time with one of the Charlotte Power Surge players. They call him the general. His name's Kevin Williams. And he talks through his uh, his keyboard. Yeah, uh, and, amazing uh, person. I will tell you what, I had never, uh, we had such a great conversation. You know, and, you know, I, I, it's easy to think, oh, okay, this guy, what's he going to say? And but everything he said was so deep and was so there. And, uh, oh, JC missed that one. And Michael just about pulled that in. And there's Natalie. And there's Katie putting it in. Oh, it's down the hole. Gets it in there deep. But uh, he works as a, a project manager for the North Carolina Disability Action Network. Yeah, he's a phenomenal person. Just incredible. So I was just, uh, uh, he does a lot of speeches in his own way. Uh, you know, in the in the co uh, conferences and stuff like that, in the field of augmentative communication, which is what the, exactly I was experiencing. And, uh, and he's a writer. I mean, I asked for some write-ups on the players so we could talk about what's inspiring. Yes. He sent me two pages, and everything <laughs> was so interesting. 
and it was like he got it. He got it right from the beginning, and I was just so appreciative of that because you know what? It makes our life. We want to talk about the stories that what makes people come out here and what keeps them from being at home alone, and they're out here playing yeah, a game. I was doing whatever they do. Way beyond just the game that we're watching here. And that's fine. That's fine. It's hard to gauge, but but you understand the impact that it can absolutely change a person's life and uh, I know give you, them an opportunity that they never had before. I know you were right involved in that, involved with having worked with the Fernando Foundation yeah. and that. Uh, I did. That's, I had a chance it. to see these kids, and for the first time, when the first time they had a chance to play power soccer, and the, ready, the faces ready, that they ready. have, and, and the way that they just light up, knowing that there's something for them now that wasn't there before. It's amazing. No, I mean, the, the stories that I, I get, you know, we have, and I'm taking this moment while it's a little bit quiet, you know, to talk about some of these people. I mean, uh, from the like from the Chattanooga team, we have Rick Davis. He's uh, got a BS from the University of Memphis. He graduated magna cum laude. I mean, he works for the TVA. He writes articles for the TVA. Brilliant mind. I mean, these are the stories of people with disabilities who so many times people write off this and so many times, even the person with a disability writes himself right, yeah. off. Exactly. And, 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 and this is what it's about. It's that, uh, you know, um, here's another uh, uh, man, Rusty he Crump. He confidence to yeah. what they do. Uh, he's going to the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga to study creative writing and theology. And he actually competes with a disabil disability uh, swimming group from Chattanooga, the That's Chattanooga amazing. Swimmers. And so I'm, I'm just impressed. With all these stories. Yeah, uh, I, those stories can go on and on. I've known. Oh, there's some there action there. Katie is starting to be the aggressor yeah. in this game. They changed Jordan. They added Jordan to the mix, which will change oh. the dynamic a little bit. You can see Katie starting to be an aggressor. She's starting to realize that she needs to. The only way it's going to happen is to get there. Especially a team you like cannot be shy Michael. or timid against Michael Archer because okay. he will take it to you. I will. There's no question about it. So we're at 0-0. Zero, zero. We've got about six minutes left in the first half, and there's no score. I tell you, there's Michael doing his thing, putting it down there. At least he'll be deep, deep in uh, the uh, sudden impact territory, and that's what they're trying to do. They've had their chances down here. Circle City has had their chances, two or three opportunities. Not great. They didn't execute very good, but they still had those chances. Impact hasn't had much. They had a couple, few here and there glimmers of hope, but if King can really start to assert herself, which it looks like she's starting to do, oh, look, Impact dude. could really, could yeah, really take this. Look at this time uh, Michael won that battle, and there's uh, Jordan. But uh, you know, one of the things that I, I, I heard uh, was that the reason Katie didn't want to try out for the U.S. team was her brother's too young to try out, and she wanted to do it with him. And so uh, we'll see her probably going for the next time. That's it's amazing, that brother. Ahead. Brother-sister combo, man. That's yeah, they play well together. So does JC and Natalie. The, this team is made up of two brother-sister combinations. And you can tell the chemistry that they have is, is unique. And we've seen a lot of that, though. The Cahill brothers out there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of brother-sister combinations out there. I probably, I, I'm afraid if I try to name them all, I'll, I'll, miss, <laughs> yeah. I'll miss a few of them. But uh, uh, brother, 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 sister. Of course, uh, the Solario brothers. Of course. You know? It sure is. They're making the most out of their uh, their family influences. Oh, Those look at that. Guys. Not a nice move by Jordan. It's out in front. And there it is. It's a shot a little wide. Oh, wow. That's a Nicely great shot. Done. Nicely done. And give Bell a chance to you have to back up and move the post a little bit. You want to make the goalie understand that they have to play. The goalie's yes. sitting back watching. They're not tense. They're not afraid. You want to put shots on goal. Even That's if they're it. not accurate, you want to put shots on goal to make them think. This is it. This is exciting. And I'm telling you, if you're watching this on xable.com, remember that uh, this has also been, uh, we we'll thank powersoccershop.com for uh, being the sponsor of this telecast. And uh, that beautiful, beautiful ball they're using out there is uh, it's the latest uh, ball. It's the USA Stars and Stripes ball commemorating our U.S. win. And you can get that ball and any of the guards to fit your chair from powersoccershop.com on the web and two clicks and you've got your, your whole team outfitted. Yeah, it's and it's a great resource for these people. I mean, when you first start a team, the first questions you have is, well, where do I get stuff? And where do I get a guard? Where do I get a ball? And you need someone to talk to about the chair and know what exactly. Look at that. Look at that. Bounce back and forth. And uh, Katie did a good job here. Aggressive. But, but you need, each chair has to be outfitted particularly and they, they know exactly what the, it takes to do the hardware 
and that's a huge thing. So look at there's Michael pushing it down. I think Sudden Impact has it, but they're, they're, so far there's nothing, nothing in this game, and it's about three minutes left in the uh, half. Yeah, and both I, teams have played not to lose so far, in my opinion. That's um, a, yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. Sudden Impact looked like they've started to pick up their play just just enough. So maybe Boy, that ball's bouncing around. Something good. Oh, look at that, JC, and it went off of uh, Cases too. Good, so they're right going to get a. A, a corner kick. Smart. Oh, no. And off of Michael. Beautiful play oh. by the goalie. Oh, I thought that went off of Michael. So that was a good. Michael with. Bella. Bell with an excellent play to come out, yeah. understanding that if she didn't come out, they had a corner kick. That's yeah. an excellent play by her to save She's a corner kick. She's a little kick more conservative team. than some of the goalies we saw. For example, uh, I don't know if you saw the synergy game where Taiwan yes. was out of the goal. He spent most of the game at half court at least. Well, there it goes. This is it. Katie and Michael. A battle. A battle. Uh -oh. There's Jordan backing up his sister. Cross court. And there comes Case going down. He's being two Dickies to stop him. Two Dickies there. She is not giving way. It's awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that battle. And she wins it over there. And there's Michael. This is great. And there's JC. She's starting to be oh. the aggressor. Oh, look at that. Katie back. She intercepts. Every time they think they have a shot, and there's Jenny, they better be careful. It's out in front. It's Michael. Easy. Look where you're at. Look where you're at. Yeah. And Michael's going to try to hit it off of him, I have a feeling, just to try to see if he can get the He's ball. Keep it. Yep, he did. He was waiting for that. To get Pretty the big. Now yeah. both teams are starting yeah. to really play. It took him a few out the minutes to get into it, but you can tell the difference when the team starts to pick up the play and play aggressively. Oh, looks like we have a. A a timeout or a harness problem? Okay. He had a nice big collision with the Katie right there. Okay, we're not. We're gonna get them tied up. You know, it was interesting because um, Michael waited, waited, and waited till he made sure he had to be able to hit that ball from JC's guard so he could get possession he of the sure ball. Sure did. I mean, that's what makes him so great. He's patient too. He's not. He doesn't rush. He's not eager. He's waiting for the right moment to strike. And that's what makes him a great player, too. You look for the opportunities, not just to be over aggressive, but just be patient. When the right opportunity comes, you strike and hit it directly where you want to. Well, they uh, they got here and don't get here without having the, the right thing. Here's his chance. Everybody's waiting. Here's the shot out in that's front. Good. Oh, Grace just oh. a little late on moving on that one, and that. It looked like he had a good chance. It looked the goal could have been open for that. Yeah, that was it's still a sliver of hope. I mean, yeah. JC was there, but it was it was definitely an excellent pass across the face of the defense, which you point. never want to let the ball get across your face on defense. Well, you know what? We just heard Mike Hayes say, uh, "Anticipate," and that's really true. It's yeah, it should have been an obvious one. Look at JC; he's coming down up against Michael now. He's trying to do the same thing that Michael did. But Michael squirts it out there, and here comes Case. There's Katie again. She moves, and then she's spinning around the other way. She's anticipating the ball is going to go there back. There she is. They're playing great. It's not one on one. It's three on one. They're rotating players. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, off of Katie. Not much she could do there. Looks like there's a minute left in the game without not, yeah. not including stoppage time. Yeah. Oh, that's a hard hit. It's going to be a minute of stoppage time, it looks like. Yep. So anytime now, so far, this powersoccershop.com, remember, if you want to get that beautiful ball for your team, that's where you get ball. it. Great ball. Powersoccershop.com, the premier supplier of power well, soccer gear. Both teams have definitely picked up their aggression. I tell you what. Picked up their play to another level. This is the championship that we wanted to see. Oh, look at that. Michael, a little wide. But you know what? They want to just keep pushing that ball, making it happen, putting the thread in there. I know JC wants to clear this ball out if he could find a hole. If that's such a thing, he'd love to get it down the other end. Trying to set up his play to the side. Looks like uh, Grace is pretty close there. I'm surprised they let her go. That's smart. Just a tough pass. Uh oh. He understands there's not much time left here. Okay, there's oh, Grace coming down the corner. Keep it in the corner. They're happy. 
And yeah, look at that, here it is. They got himself another sidekick here, and this is the, probably the toughest. The anticipation is the key, right? And, and, like he, and, and, and in case it, it's not going to want to miss that this time, if Michael does that same shot. Oh, oh, oh almost down the hole. That's right there. there Jenny better close that door. And that is it. That's the end of the first half. Javier Munoz joining Rob Rowan on xtable.com. At the end of the first half, there's no score. Zero, zero. That's intense. Stay tuned for the second ball. Yeah, I think the second half is going to be one of strength and aggression. I hope these teams come out the way they ended that first half. Because then we'll have a really great game. We will. All right. Be right back.